Okay, as stated, I'm on camping villa so just gonna have another ride around, see whether this camera is now working. Stayed on here a few times. Apparently fully booked up this year. As all the campsites have been. No complaints though, because we've got a nice sort of cottage chalet on camping on Mafra. I've stayed in this Avenida Valencia before. A little side road up there, the first time we actually came to camping villa so had the swimming pool at the top there that was great fun that was and I ended up flooding the site what a laugh that was uh, except the fact I flooded the site of course stayed in the chalets as well they're, they're really nice there doesn't seem to be a lot of caravans around here I think there was, some of these were permanent previously but there's a lot of vacancies so when, when I checked for a slot, for a pitch, it said there was no vacancies, but they're nearly empty. I think a lot of the ones who were permanent have gone. It looks like they've all been cleared out. Now the other thing I've noticed is there's no hardly any English down here at the moment. Uh, this is, it's got a bit to, to do with Brexit, I would guess. People have gone home now. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, so we stayed on this side a, a couple of times. And we've had a, a chalet. Just go down to the bottom. They're doing a lot of um, renovations on the site. They're uh, putting in um, service pitches, which they didn't have previously. So you get you'll you'll get water and electricity on the pitch. Doing a good job. I think nearly nearly every pitch is getting a service pitch. decided where we're going this summer yet. We haven't decided whether we're going back down to Port Grimoire or coming here. But with the improvements here it might be worthwhile coming back to Camping Villa so if we can get on. Hola, buenos dias. That's the boss, I remember her. Just have a little ride up the top. I've got some cabins here. Got the chalets over there, where we've just seen. And these are the cabins. These are very nice as well. I've stayed in these a couple of times. They've got everything in there that you want. This is more of the residential area which I'm in at the moment. which they don't do now. Hi. Hi. So if you're on here already, great. 
but they, they, they don't do any more residential plots. The only way you get a residential plot now is if you buy one off someone else who's so selling it. Pearson Park, somebody there from Middlesbrough. Got a plaque on the outside of the caravan there. They stayed on this side as well, stayed on this side with Chris. Made him sleep in the tent outside, of course. Yeah, hardly any English at all. Dutch, Belgium, German. Not that I've got a problem with that, of course. Uh, but, but when we've been before at this time of the year, it's been heaving with uh, British, as well as the other nationalities from Europe as well. Okay, so that was a little ride round Camping Villasol. Had a bit of breakfast there. A little bit lukewarm, wasn't too bad. It was lukewarm though. Uh, so I'll go and carry on with me ride down to into Benidorm now.